without further ado, let's have a look and see what's in this box, shall we? So I've got quite a few bits. First of which, I want to show you is the doors for my uh, attack. I mean, it's really nice. Got a little nurgling in the corner here. Got little tongs and stuff, and like it's big little hole here, of, like faces and stuff are screaming in the middle there. Let's change the uh, focus on this so we can see it better. Yeah, these are all resin cast uh, models and version bits. So I'm just going to need scrubbing and cleaning down before I can use them. These are really nice 3D, really, really good printed up stuff. Nice packaging. Can't really see the glare and the light, but. Oh, that's just a little picture of uh, read something else. Everything starts with hobby. <laughs> Come on, it's a Polish uh, language. Uh, these are cool. These are the new uh, fungus grex, which can be part of my um, diorama. Look at this. Uh, let me my knife out. These things are nice. These again, really well cast. Well, they're um, they're resin, so imagine they're cast. Rather than they're not freely printed. Don't see too much blemishes in here either. We'll see. You got the where it was obviously in the casing at the bottom here, but just slice them up and sand it down. It's fine. It's no problem. So it's look good on like a, a base with my night disc crater. Thought <laughs> I read so worries. Maybe just go on to the first thing. But yes, Velcro has arrived. This thing, I was not expecting it to be this big. <laughs> it is massive. It is massive. It's like a organic swamp. Let's open it up. Yeah, these are nice, these Grex uh, fungi stuff. So I wasn't expecting it to be this big. That is huge, it's huge, really nice, really well cast. It is this weighty, it's going to be used as a paperweight if anything. Um, I was thinking of having it as part of the uh, Night Dust Crater, possibly standing on it maybe. Uh, but I don't know. Hey, Seven! You're right. Looking at the Spellcrow. Spellcrow delivery I've got. There's little bits to review and stuff. Paint up. This boy is pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, also, got a lot of Death Guard stuff. Obviously, that is my main thing. So, we've got some plague marks. These are quite interesting. So, I put some on the tank uh, and elsewhere. You get all these like, faces and like warts and stuff that you can put uh, in a flat on the back so you just like stick them directly onto, onto the tank or things like that. So uh, they're really gruesome. And some more like boils and stuff as well. So they're really, they're really cool painted up. There was another one. So it was fun. And this was, oh yeah, more plague marks. This is the version 2. The slightly bigger ones. Once again, a diorama, <laughs> yummy, <laughs> diorama style ones. Um, so he's got, got fangs and stuff off them. These are really nice actually. They're really, really good detail on them. I love the way they've done this sort of bubble, like pox effect, like almost like a coral, a sea coral. It's really nice. Once again, nice and flat on the back. Also, snip off the uh, the holder. It's really interesting designs. Really cool to use these. Definitely make stuff really different, stand out. 
That's kind of all the conversion bits I got. And if you weren't, if you weren't here a second ago, uh, I've got some doors so I can the air tank. I think it's a little bit too big for my tank. So I might have to trim down a bit to fit them in, but it shouldn't be too bad. Little nail then set a nail door there. It's quite cool. Yeah, quite a few bits there. Let's move that out to one side. Uh, also, my commission piece came in. <clears throat> Just prying them up today. Uh, ready to paint. So, a quick free reign of what to do colour wise on him. Uh, so, yeah, I think also like, like rusty metallics on the mines and the shoulder pads uh, and the guard and stuff. Then obviously standard green skin, uh, and we'll go for some kind of purple pants. Maybe a red, red tunic, something like that. Something different, something cool. Look pretty gnarly when he's done. He's not. He's all right. The arms here. <laughs> I did, I took it off because. Uh, Painting it with the arm, both arms on is going to be pretty much impossible. Because he's like that. So I took one of the arms off to give me access uh, to his belly and stuff. Armour. But look at his uh, posture. His posture ain't great, is it? That's a, that's a messed up posture, mate. His spine's like really badly curved. <laughs> You'll say he has trouble walking, I would say. Actually, I'm not going to just put this stuff away. I'm just going to put my desk too much. Uh, this is Plague Marks. Then back in here. The actual display boxes are coming up quite nice. You imagine if like, I hang it up on a store or something. That's all for you. <laughs> this is my first orc I've ever done as well. And during October, so I've got a perfect time getting all connected, I suppose. You'll probably end up looking quite uh, Death Guard y, that version, to be fair. Other schemes. But the guy knows that's my thing, that's my uh, main uh, thing that I paint. So hopefully, he'll be okay with that. But how's everybody? How's your weekend been? Fun day tonight, Monday tomorrow. Oh, back to work. Yeah, same, mate. I'm not done one either, but looking at the different. I think orcs are very similar to like Death Guard. It doesn't really matter what you paint them. They're like, they, they can pretty much have any color scheme because they're very universal on that front, which is quite good for me anyway. Next up, we have the Umbra, Umbra Terrera stuff. <clears throat> so, I got uh, two uh, start playing kits. They come with all the cards, the instructions, and the two uh, models. So, you get uh, six each. That's like kind of your miniature. So, it's a complete uh, one player set of miniatures. So, I've got Northern Dwarves and Goblins. I'm super tired, I've been nappy all day on off, so I'll probably be heading to bed soon. Ah, oh, no worries, mate. That's fine, Spina. Here's a Sunday after all. But look at this guy. This guy's awesome. Fish guy. And then the goblins, which I got as the second player. Yeah, fish helmet is definitely the reason why I went to the Northern Dwarves. See, it's, it's so odd. <laughs> and it's like a fish sword thing going on as well. Now, these are 10mm minis. I didn't realise they were 10 millimetres, uh, so they are bloody tiny. Um, it's going to be a first me painting something so small. I need my knife actually to open these boxes. <laughs> An accident with a knife earlier. I was uh, cutting open, well, I was removing the legs off the, uh, off the uh, base of the orc. 
and the knife slipped and went straight to my finger. There's blood gushing out of it. So, <laughs> be really careful. Yeah, the cupboards are cool. Love for the blood gun, indeed. Right, let's have a look what we've got here. Oh, these ones aren't, no, these ones aren't too small, actually, not too bad. Slash fish guy. Look at the detail on these minis. I love how they all come individually wrapped as well. Base for as well, I was going to say, there's no bases, there is. That's insane amount of detail. Whoa. Uh, well, compared to the Orc Boy, very similar size to those Orcs. But also, Death Guard is slightly bigger, so if I get a Death Guard, <clears throat> well, it's not that small base. Yeah, knock, it, knock it shit off the table now. Too much stuff out. Ooh. So, what, uh, Warhammer is what, 60 mil or 55 mil? Obviously, slight, well, size comparison, a lot smaller than what we're used to painting. So, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> going to definitely be a challenge to myself to do this. When was 28 to 30? Yeah, I, see, I don't really know. I don't know what I'm talking about there. There's just not enough desk space on this shit about. I'm not going to unbag this single one, but oh, he's cool. Look at him with his little hammer. He's got some proper muscles going on. It's a nice hench. Yeah, he's like a jumping kind of pose, big old beard. They are very nice. Very, very nice. Oh man, look at this guy. It's like a lead rust, I think. The size of a beard. Got a nice cape as well. Oh, is he got fish on? Oh my god, he's got he has an octopus arm. He has an octopus arm. Oh my god. This is like oh my god, maybe he's part of the uh, Plague Marines, Death Guard. <laughs> What's that fucking tentacle? Awesome. Oh yes, look at this. Look at that beautiful big axe. Let's get this boy out because he's a nice one. The size of their beards are insane. Some skulls hanging off the bottom there. It's capage again. Very, very nicely sculpted. Very, very nicely sculpted. So some insane detail in there. Also, there's a few mold lines. Not too bad actually. A little tiny bit of warping. Hardly anything really. As soon as it's all resin stuff, it's hardly any warping I've noticed so far. <clears throat> It's like a little battle axe. Oh, it's got a little shield as well. So these are all the little dwarf guys. They're really cool. And look at the goblins. Oh, look, they've got the bases in the actual bags. And look. God, these goblins are weird. <laughs> the swords are bigger than him. Oh my god, he's tiny. He is tiny. Look at him. It's the size of my thumb. That that is a tiny, tiny mini. Oh my god. That's gonna be painstaking to paint. <laughs> these two are mini art guys. Quite well here for the packet now. Come on. There yeah, is for the size, like seeing how tiny these arches are. Look at the detail, the faces, the hands. Oh man, it's just spot on. Did the two fingers and the bow as well. 
I've actually got the two fingers out of this, like how you would actually hold a bow. The little capes popping out as well. Oh man, insane amount of detail. Little hammer, hammer goblin. And there's two more guys here, I think. Oh no, she's got a big head. It's fine. She's quite sure about Oh, it was, oh no, some of the staff. Basically. Oh no, it's not. What is that? It's just like a plumage and stuff. Maybe it goes in the back of him or something. Oh, it wraps around the back. It's got like a tail. It's got like a tail that comes off the back. A uh, little, like, fox's tail kind of thing. Going on with him. Oh, yes, yeah, wolf tail. It's a wolf head. Yeah, it's got wolf's head. Wolf's tail. And a wolf bone, I'm guessing. Oh, and this arch has got a hair piece. That must be a hair piece, but it's cool. <laughs> I love that the box is huge, but like this guy is the size of my thumb, which is crazy. I love it how like back of the box is like the blurb on their short, the actual figures as well. It's really nice. So they're the two like uh, you it's a get started kit, so you also get uh, so the game I haven't actually looked hundred percent detail into it. And you have three sets of playing cards, magic, terrain, and quest. Um so like uh, let's open up the terrain ones. So I haven't read the I haven't read the rules yet either, but uh we'll do. So I'll break it in a bit. Oh, look, it comes with scenery. I didn't realize this. Oh, nice. There's actually some scenery in there as well. Oh, nice. That. Treasure chests, barrels, crates. Oh, wow. I didn't know there's actually scenery in there. Let me get these other cards. A bit like a bit of Magic Gathering style, no cards, I would say. I'm not Magic Gathering. Well, not, I have a fan, but I don't know much about it. You know, Ravens are probably. Shoot me down the chat because she's a big uh, player of it. Uh, so, for example, this is like Haunted Graveyard. So, this is here. Uh, evil side, start the game with two additional tournament dice. Good. Start the game with one blessing dice, less. Alright. So, obviously, the effect, like if they're in play, obviously, affects what happens during the game. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I was just saying they look very uh, much like Magic the Gathering at the Kind of style of the cards. I don't know if you can get more terrain cards because that's it. Don't know if you can collect more or not. This, I didn't realize these uh, these uh, card packs came with um, uh, terrain and stuff like actual miniatures as well. So it's gonna be a hell of a lot of stuff. So what's in here then? It's, it's, so this is uh, 18 quest cards, 15 hidden counters, five death counters. Oh, okay, so these are knockoff miniatures on this one. Oh, it does. Oh my god. The counters are actual resin counters, not just pieces of cardboard. Jeez, wow. Wow. It's blowing my mind. This is cool. Actual resin counters. I like the quest cards, a lot more quest cards. Uh, gain advantage to defeat enemy models until the opponent loses 40% worth of dragon coin. This party. Then, before this card, you gain one triumph point. <laughs> I'm really gonna need to read the uh, instructions. Which, luckily, both sets come with uh, instructions. Rule book, I should say. So, this attains 80 night cards and two resin miniatures. And ow, it's spawn of night. So this is a magic box. There is a lot of miniatures to paint. Oh, that's good. Ow, that was awesome. <laughs> an owl on a, on a tree branch. It's pretty cool. So he's obviously a quest giver or a magic person or something. And then this is a. They say this was a spawn of magic. Which is a 
weird looking thing. There's another bit of a squig. A square, square bases in these guys. Once again, use for your magic cards. Uh, for example, this says item temporary. Use this card when you're activating your, mag your mage. Put this card on any model present on the battlefield. The chosen model gets plus two WS, or I don't know what that means. Plus two S, plus two T, and minus one W. This thing wounds. Some piece of thing. <laughs> if the chosen model survives next cycle, discard this card after it ends. Brings the power or death. Unfortunately, sometimes both. Interesting. Interesting. So each player gets those three card boxes. We're now contemplating sending the other stuff from Brother to Paint. It's a it's the one doing the Let's Play series on YouTube. Or oh, if one of you wants to paint some shit, by all means, let me know. And I'll have the uh, stuff sent to you to paint up. So that's the three cards you get. And when you also get the big, the actual um, rule book. I, this is possible to get out pack it. Hopefully I'll say to this packet is possible to get the book out of. Now the book's nice, but it is black and white, so that kind of a bit of a downfall for me. I prefer it to be colour because I've got some really nice artwork in here. So I prefer some colour artwork to be fair. But it will do, it's very legible. The, the text is not too small off. It is really not got massive flair from the from the uh, light. But yeah, this is everything you need to do to play the game. So you've got the rules, party, how to create a party, game, start the game, train, card rules. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's going to be a lot of uh, reading for me to do. In the next few weeks to kind of uh, get myself a bit favourable. This happens. So it says here, welcome to Umbra Terrace. Umbra Terrace is a primeval city fraught with agnabic, 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 egg. Oh my goodness me, I can't, I can't really speak. Enigmatic, there we go, secret places which many adventurers arrived hungry for dominion and fortune. They fight heretic, 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 yes, I can't talk, heretic battles among haunted cemeteries, ruins of ancient temples, musty roads, and squares, hiding plenty of forgotten treasures and artifacts. Many of them band together, creating parties, which bravely face enemies, unknown powers, lurking in the shadows of the city. Now you have a chance to make your own party heroes, and fare forth to majestic, mysterious, Umbra Tourists, which I think stands for uh, Dark Tower, or Dark Towers. <laughs> so you'll need miniatures, obviously, to play. Uh, uh, table minimum is 70 by 70 centimeters. Your number of d6 dice, take measure in centimeter scale, and opponents are two or three, with whom you will fight for triumph points, guaranteeing victory in the game. If you want to battle in a wide group of friends, the last section is devoted to rules for more than two players. The last section you will find a party sheet where you write in heroes, or abilities, equipment, or also have a copy at umbrachronicles.com. That is very interesting. Lots to, of lots of learn and different style game. I think it's got elements of D&D, &D, RPG games, and skirmishes and stuff like that. So it's very, uh, it's very, like, a lot more than just the 40k style stuff. Uh, and then I did get another figure. Oh, I got an expansion pack as well. Uh, so the other figure I got was the Mountain Troll. Which he looks really cool. Even back what? Yeah, the, the artwork is awesome, it's been, it really is. This is what drew me to this company. Uh, well, initially it was their conversion bit to Death Guard. But then looking at the artwork, the style, it's very reminiscent of Fantasy Warhammer back in the day. Like the old school Warhammer. This guy's a big, big mod. Let's see pieces. It's got a very like eighties, uh, early nineties vibe to it. Oh. The Spellcrow is a Polish company. It's been around since twenty eleven, so they're relatively new, I suppose, in the field of models and stuff. Oh man, look at the look at the detail on this. Look at the wounds. Like, look at that. That is gorgeous. Let's look at the detail of the axe. Oh man, this guy's going to be so cool to paint. 
lovely already. He's going to trim up and stuff, got to fit his arms and stuff, but he's got like some kind of like bone hammer thing. Just the detail on the fingers and stuff, just so much detail. There's this big ugly head. Look at that head. <laughs> that is a troll, isn't it? That is a troll. There's no mistaking that. It's awesome. <laughs> Oh, I like him a lot. Who goes there? Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? <laughs> I feel like he may be involved in some stories with my kids. I like it, it's really nice. Barely covering his dignity. Butt cheeks hanging out the top there. <laughs> Bit of bone crack. Luckily, we're. Hiding all the vital, the vital organs are hidden away. It does slightly look like he's wearing a nappy. I see he's got a guy's cinching on the bottom of his foot, bottom of his ass. And even the cuts on the bottom of the foot as well. Look at that. This guy is awesome. I love him. The kind of where he's been whipped or something or attacked. And he's been sliced open. Look at the rib cage is like pot belly. All that kind of like stretching of the skin. Oh man, this guy is so fun to paint. Oh, I'm looking forward to painting this guy a lot. This guy's going to be fun. He might be number one on the paint list, I think. Definitely, I know they've done, they've done like a green uh, body, but I'm thinking more of a grey-blue for him. He definitely, to me, is screaming a grey-blue kind of orc. That troll, sorry, not orc. So this is a 28mm scale mini. The custom base, as well. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be the best one to paint up on. Oh shit! What was that from? Put some way about putting it in his bag. Don't know what that was. Oh, bit of a issue here. The the, the text is printed upside down. Not the not the worst thing in the world, but. Uh, a troll, a companion, is also a lunch. <laughs> so how do you, I wonder how you say that. Oh, Trousy. Hello, Trousy. Your third month. Well done, my friend. You've made it this far. <laughs> oh, you've missed the unboxing. You've missed the unboxing, my friend. On well, the last thing to unbox, you have to go back and rewatch the VOD. Um, I don't wonder how you use the troll when you came out to look that up. There must be a way of using him. Thank you very much for the resub, Trout. Nice to have you in as always. How did your surgery go? Um, I suppose that was recent, wasn't it? We talked about it recently on stream. Now, this is the uh, expansion pack. I wanted more, which gives you a little bit more stuff. Uh, but also, zombies, which I couldn't pass up on. Some zombies. So, once again, highly detailed miniatures. This guy's holding his own head. <laughs> they remind me a bit of the um, Rhaegar uh, Spiral. In fact that there's quite like, you know, they've still got weapons and stuff. They've got like, a broken sword, stuff like that, and uh, they look really like gruesome. Their faces are really cool. Let's see that. Thing. This guy's just got a sword. Like coming out of his body. <laughs> Not quite sure how he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna fair. Oh, he's this way around. Oh, there's his head. But the sword's just in his body, so uh, it's interesting. This guy's got a big scythe. A farmer or something. The old haunted moor. And then the final Zondo. His arms are falling off. <laughs> Yeah, let's have that, let's see. Oh no, my arms fell off. Oh, my arms have fallen off. Oh no. What am I going to do? 